The wedding couple, you both formally attended in the presence of a registrar and on that day you signed a declaration and the declaration was to say that there was no legal impediment, no legal reason why you may not be married. But today I'm going to ask you to make a verbal declaration in the presence of your gathered witnesses which reaffirms that there is still no lawful impediment to your marriage. So it doesn't sound very romantic but it is important for us to do that today. gentlemen my name is Donald Healy and I am an appointed civil registrar for civil marriages and I'd like to welcome you all here today to join with Boa and Ling in the solemnization of their marriage and so we are gathered here in the presence of each other in order that Boa and Ling should be joined together in the covenant of marriage and to share in their happiness as they make their promises to each other here today. I do solemnly. I do solemnly. And sincerely declare. And sincerely declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful. Of any lawful. Impediment. Impediment. Why I Ling. 
Why I link may not be joined. May not be joined in matrimony. In matrimony to you wa to you wa. Wa, if you would repeat after me, I do solemnly. I do solemnly and sincerely declare. And sincerely declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful. Of any lawful impediment. Impediment. Why I wa. Why I wa. May not be joined. May not be joined in matrimony. In matrimony to you, Ling. To you, Ling. Ling, will you have wa to be your lawful wedded wife? I will. Would you love her and comfort her in sickness and in health? I will. Wa, will you have Ling to be your lawful wedded husband? I will. Will you love him and comfort him in sickness and in health? I will. Now for our second set of vows. So Ling, if you would repeat after me, Wa, I pledge. Wa, I pledge. To share my life with you. To share my life to you. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honor, honor, and support you. And support you. I will respect you. I will respect you. Be true to you. Be true to you. Through good times and bad. Through good time and bad. To these promises, I give you my word. To these promises, I give you my word. Wa, well, if you would repeat after me. Ling, I pledge. Ling, I pledge. To share my life with you. To share my life with you. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honor. Honor. And support you. And support you. I will respect you. I will respect you. Be true to you. Be true to you. Through good times and bad. To good times and bad. To these promises, I give you my word. To these promises, I give you my word. Ling, I must ask you, in the presence of your witnesses, do you understand the declarations you have made today? I do. And have you made your declarations of your own free will and without your eyes? I do. Well, I must also ask you, do you understand the declarations you have made today? I do. And have you made your declarations of your own free will and without your eyes? I do. Excellent. So now the groom is going to present the bride with a ring. So Ling, if you would take the ring and take in the bride's left hand, and you're going to place the ring on her finger after you make this declaration. So if you would repeat after me, Wa, I give you this ring. Wa, I give you this ring as a token. As a token of my love. Of my love. A symbol. A symbol of all that we have promised. Of all that we have promised. And all that we now share. All that we now share. You may now place the ring on the bride's finger. So I think that deserves a round of applause for the couple. So as Ling and Wa have solemnly bound themselves in wedlock before these witnesses gathered here today, and by virtue of the Civil Registration Act 2004, I can now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride.